Okay, now I'm going to do a follow-up problem to the one that I just did with the plane wave sound wave damping. It's called damping for spherical sound wave. So then we have here a big R, R of T is amplitude E. This is the damping constant again, E to the minus gamma R. We're assuming now the sound wave is spreading spherically in all directions equally, right? So the amplitude... Uh, varies as a e to the minus gamma r divided by r squared because the surface area of the sphere is proportional to the, the distance squared, 4 pi r squared, right? Then you have sine of kr minus omega t. We're going to assume that the damping constant is the same and assume here that uh, the intensity 70, as a 70 decibels at r equals to 5 meters. So now if a person is 5 meters away and now they go to... Uh, 10 meters away, what's going to be the intensity? In the previous problem, we noticed that when you went from 5 meters to 10 meters, the intensity went from 70 decibels uh, to about 68.9, I think, decibels. And then when you went to 20 meters, uh, it went to like 66.7 decibels. And then uh, in order to be inaudible, you had to go to like something like 300 meters far, right? But this one should dissipate quicker because it's spreading out in all directions equally. So then uh, how are we going to do the calculation? So the intensity is going to be proportional to this amplitude squared. So we're going to set it up similarly, right? So then it's going to be here a squared e to the minus 2 gamma r1 and then r1 in this case is the 5 meters right so we can say this is uh, 5 10 gamma again 10 gamma divided by r1 to the power 4 okay right so then we're going to say that this is uh, the log of this is going to be 70 decibels right so we're going to say 70 decibels is going to be 10 log of uh, this one divided by I zero, right? So it's going to be uh, A squared e to the minus 10 gamma over R1 to the fourth I zero. Then DB2 is going to equal 10 log of uh, this one, right? So A squared e to the minus 2 gamma R2 over R2 to the power fourth I zero. Then we're going to do it very similar. I'm going to subtract 70 minus dB2. Right. 10. Now I'm going to do it kind of quicker now. I can just do log this log minus this log. Or just take the logs and add them. And then remember adding log of A plus log of B is the same thing as multiplying them. So then I'm going to have here log of this one here. A squared e to the minus 10 gamma over R1 to the fourth I0 times the reciprocal of this one, right? So then it's going to be r2 to the power fourth i0 over a squared e to the minus 2 gamma r2, okay? So the i0 is going to cancel again, okay? Then r1 is going to be the uh, 5 meters, right? So that's going to be the 5 meters to the power of 4. Uh, the a squared is also going to cancel, so the amplitude of the wave doesn't matter, okay? So then it's going to end up looking like that, okay? Seventy minus dB two is going to be ten log of. Let's rewrite it this way. Uh, let's do here R two divided by five to the power four, right? Uh, so then I can just divide this and then raise both of them to the power four, right? Then I can multiply that by e to the, and then I can take this up to the top. I can say 2, uh, two gamma r2 minus 10 gamma. Okay? Now let's uh, see what's going to happen. If I put r2 is equal to 10 meters, right, well then what's going to happen? We're going to have here 70 minus db2. If you put your 10 meters, you're going to have log of 2, so 40 log of 2, right, plus, and then a 10 times gamma, remember gamma was 0.025, so 10 times gamma is going to be uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, then if you put here uh, R2 is 10, that's 20 minus 10, that's going to be 10 again, another 10, then you're going to have log of E, 
Okay, so let's calculate all of that. Decibels is going to be 70 minus the answer 56.9. 56.9 decibels. Okay, so this is more realistic in the real world because most sound waves that we hear are not plain sound waves traveling only in one direction. The plain sound waves would be what the sound wave that you hear more, maybe more like in a steel train track traveling in one direction. That's a plain sound wave, right? But if you hear that through the air, it starts spreading out spherically, then it would be a spherical sound wave. So most sound waves we hear when there's a car crash, an explosion in the air, when I'm talking, it's spreading out spherically. So this is more realistic in the world. The, the, the decrease in decibel strength is gonna be due to the dampening in the air, plus due to the fact that it's spreading out spherically. So it's gonna decrease a lot quicker than a plain sound wave, right? So 56.9 decibels, okay? What if you go to 20 meters? Then it's gonna be a lot less than 66.7. So you're gonna put here 20, you're gonna have log of four, log of four, and then if you put here 20, you're gonna have 40 minus 10 is 30, 30 times 100 is gonna be uh, 300 times gamma is gonna be this one is gonna be 0.75, so it's gonna be three times more, so it's gonna be 7.5 times log of E. So uh, let's see what it comes out now. So you see the decibel strength is decreasing quite a lot. It went from 70 to 56.9, that's a drop of 13 decibels. Then from here to here, that's another drop of uh, from 57 to 43, that's another about 15 decibels, right? So you're dropping uh, very, very fast. When is this sound wave going to be inaudible? Well, a lot quicker, right? You don't have to go all the way up to 300 meters. So how do we solve that? Well, then you just put here dB2 is equal to zero. Then you just have a general equation. How do we solve that now? Just put this into solver in your calculator and it should be able to solve it for you. So you're, you're just going to say here, this R and this R is the same. I don't really, it doesn't really matter if you put R2 or just R. So uh, the other one, you had to go up 300 something meters in order for it to be inaudible. This one, you go up to 93 meters and it's already inaudible. So let's say if this, is, if this is an explosion, five meters away, you hear it pretty loud, 70 decibels, okay? And by 90 meters away, it's already inaudible, okay? A true explosion that's really loud, it's probably gonna be louder than 70 decibels. So you're gonna to have to go farther than 90 in order to not hear it. So now you can kind of see um, how you can do calculations like this. If you're an investigator and you, if you happen to hear an explosion in a supermarket or somewhere, right? It happens all around the world these days, unfortunately. Uh, and you happen to know these equations, right? You can say, oh, okay, there was an explosion there. I saw it, but I couldn't hear it, right? So if you kind of know that you're at the edge of the the uh, you kind of barely can't hear it you're kind of at the edge of that you can almost estimate the distance to that where that explosion is and you can say oh okay i'm 200 meters away from that and you can know where the the center of that explosion was you can do nice interesting uh investigational calculations based on that so now you can see how you can uh include dampening with a spherical sound wave that spreads out spherically and you can also apply it to a plain sound wave in the previous problem Thank you very much.